Hi everyone, this is me Anu and I welcome you all to Anu's classes. Our class is focusing on Masters in Business Administration. And if you are anybody who is interested in business administration or its related topics, you have come to the right place. And let us all begin this wonderful journey ahead into becoming great business administrators. Okay, so we all know what is MBA. Nothing a secret here, right? MBA is Masters in Business Administration. It is a postgraduate degree that focuses on business administration. So what is administration then? Administration is nothing but governing, administering a business. And businesses could be a company or anything, right? So business administration actually includes all the aspects of overseeing and supervising the business operations of an organization. So as I said earlier, this class mainly focuses on distance education candidates in India and the topmost UGC recognized university that provides distance education to Indian candidates is IGNO, Indira Gandhi National Open University. But fret not if you are not part of IGNO, don't worry, don't think that this class or this channel will not be of use to you. If you are anybody who is wishing to understand the concepts related to businesses, and its administration. Maybe you are an entrepreneur or hoping to be an entrepreneur and you want to know what all things are being done in a course like MBA without spending a fortune in getting a degree. Then this is a good channel for you because we will be discussing on everything related to learning or mastering business administration. And the structure of our MBA class will be like this. We will have recorded classes which will help you understand the concepts clearly and easily. And for students who are enrolled in a university, be it IGNO or any other university doing regular or full-time, part-time, online, whatever it is, from your exam point of view, we'll be covering quick revision notes which will be available to download. We have a Telegram channel. So as a class finishes, if you have enrolled in our Telegram channel, you will have those quick revision notes available. Also, we are planning on conducting a few sessions that could help improve our managerial skills. If you would have read about it, I'm sure you might have read about it. If not, understand this, guys, that out of every 10 MBA graduates that are graduating every year from all institutions across India, out of 10, if you take, only one would be actually employable. And the reason, the main reason is lack of skill on the part of our MBA graduates. So skill development is essential, very essential and I don't know how to stress this enough. So we'll have sessions that can help you improve upon your skills. And this class, this YouTube channel is being created with a vision of becoming a platform that allows us all to collaborate with others who are like-minded like us, who wants to master the art of business administration, the science of business administration. So we'll all keep this a healthy, collaborative, conductive atmosphere, a community where we can all discuss on the business administration concepts. And we'll be dealing with ample amount of case studies. Uh, we'll be trying to cover each and every concept with taking the help of examples and case studies, which we right now see around us or able to learn from others in, instead of once we are out of the college, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, let us learn from others while we are studying itself. Okay, so in this class, we'll be checking what the meaning of MBA is and what is expected out of you as an MBA graduate and what skills do you need to be successful. And for joining the class in Anu's classes channel, all you need to have is a very good internet connection so that your video doesn't buffer at the middle of the class, okay? These classes are in YouTube and it will be available to you on demand. All you need to do is subscribe to our channel. If you click on the notification icon, you will get the notification as and when we upload a new class. Always keep a pen and paper with you so that you can jot down any important things and you can have a local copy of it, your notes or any doubts you might have while listening to the classes. So it is always a good idea to have a pen and a paper with you. And please do not hesitate to ask questions. Right now, we are going through the recorded sessions mode. So the only place which right now you can ask questions and get your doubts clarified 
is either through the YouTube comments or if you have enrolled in our Telegram channel, you can definitely post them there and I'll try my best to get your doubts clarified. And if you need to have any extra explanations on any topic, if any topic we covered is not, you don't feel, uh, you need some, if you feel that you need any more explanations, you can do that also through the comment section. For these things, you can use our comment section very well so that we can have that interaction right now as we are in the recorded mode. As our community grows, we'll definitely plan for having live sessions where you can directly interact and we can in real time ask and get the qu uh, questions clarified and all those things. All right, we can collaborate a bit more. And as this is going to be a community for like-minded business administration enthusiasts, I request you all to please abide by a few set of rules and maintain the dignity of our community. So always and always you can have any sort of healthy discussions in our comment section or throughout our classes. Absolutely, it is encouraged in all, in all aspects because it is through discussions that we can broaden our vistas, right? But I kindly request you all to please refrain from posting unrelated comments that are in no way related to our classes. So that is a humble request to all of you who are using our comment section or our telegram channel. Please act professionally and maintain the decorum. Respect all the people who are in our community. Let's keep this a very healthy community. Okay. So first and foremost, what is an MBA? We have already said about it, right? MBA is a postgraduate degree that is focusing on business administration. Who can do an MBA? If you have an undergraduate degree, at least an undergraduate degree from a UGC recognized institution, you are eligible for an MBA. There is no particular age restriction to do an MBA and there is no degree restriction. From a BA, a history, French, English student from a Bachelor of Arts to an MBBS student or an MPhil student, you can go and do a business administration course that is MBA. So all the more it matters that you have the right skill. What is expected out of you as an MBA? An MBA graduate is expected to either be capable of running an organization by himself or at least a part of it, right? Either you will be entrepreneurs who will be setting up your own businesses or you might be expecting a promotion into a managerial post where you will be responsible for other people working under you. Okay, so think from that perspective. What is expected out of a MBA graduate? Definitely, you are expected to have financial literacy. You should have good communication skills. You should have good negotiation skills. You should have good decision-making skills. You should be good at planning stuff, planning and organizing things. You should know the basic operations that go into making a business. You should be able to properly formulate business strategies. You should know the laws that are prevalent in, in terms of businesses in the place where you are operating. You should know economics. To know where the trend is going so that you can price appropriately. You need to be ethical in all your conducts. Right? You need to know how to deal with people. So that you, because all an organization in today's world still deals with people. Right? Either as your employees or suppliers, maybe your customers, intermediaries, whatever it is. An organization even for today, while I'm making this video, deals with human resources most of the time because the world is changing, information technology is changing. You need to be aware of the latest technologies in information, communication and all the automation, and software development and everything, the technological changes that are happening. You need to be aware. So all these things are expected out of an MBA graduate. If you do not have financial literacy, if you are lacking in any of these skills, it will affect your performance, right? So these are all and much, much more is expected out of you. So what are the skills you need? If you need to have financial literacy, let us go by one by one. What are the skills you need? You need to know accounting. You need to know economics. 
if you need to properly communicate with your customers or your suppliers or whoever that is your employees you need to have adequate language skills you need to have quantitative aptitude so that you can properly judge things you need to be apt at problem solving you need to have a certain skill in marketing too right because without marketing you cannot help to move your products from your factory to that of the customers homes you need to know about customers who are your customers you need to be able to observe them and infer from their behaviors what would sell and what will not you need to be apt at properly managing time as an mba graduate you will not be stuck with just one task you will be multitasking so you need to know how to properly manage your time you need to have emotional intelligence because it is humans that you deal with you need to be emotionally very very intelligent right and what else you need to know about technology you need to know about computers you need to know about sales you need to have a certain amount of sales skills you need to have leadership quality because it is a leader who can take us forward right an mba graduate you are a man you if you are a manager or even if you are an owner you need to take your employees and your organization forward you need to have that leadership skill so these are but a very small portion of all the multitude of skills that you would need to be a successful business administrator if you lack these skills if you do not know what is expected out of you what will happen you will not get a job even if you do an mba that's what's going to happen we don't need that right we don't need to be in the 90% of people who even after mba are not employable we need to be that 10% who gets the job who gets the job done who gets stuff done right so through our mba classes we will be trying to develop these skills we will be trying to perform up to our expectations and if you have any questions kindly post them in the comment section or on our telegram channel as well if you have enrolled in it and if you need any explanation more explanations on any topics that we'll be discussing or if you need any other topics to be covered please let me know that too can use the comment section for all those things and so thank you very much for sticking with me till this time and i hope to see you all along with your friends for our next classes